This is Twit. One of the things uh, that was mentioned that I immediately kind of froze up on, is, and this is just, a, I, I think, an aspect of me not understanding sort of database management, but what does it mean yeah. when, when we say uh, helping IT pros manage their edge? What is the edge? Where is the edge? I know the world is not square, so where, like, <laughs> as far as I understand it's it. It's the thing before there be dragons. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I understand. <laughs> Move on. Let's go to the yes. next thing. So edge for edge for them, not not edge as in the browser, but the edge is basically IoT devices and even PCs, even servers, right? Anything that's out on the edge of the network that may be disconnected sometimes, may be connected sometimes. It's just saying it's not your center central control plane, but it's all the things that connect to it. Okay. That's okay. how I would describe it. So now we have we have IT pros being able to control their edge. What what did we do before right. Microsoft came in and uh, <laughs> provided a way for them to manage this stuff? Yeah. Well, a so lot of times the way, they were just yeah. disconnected, right? They okay. were just not right. centrally managed. Yeah. Oh, okay, right. so you had to go to you had to go to the edge and manage the <laughs> You stuff had to there. physically go to the edge, not ah, fall over the edge. <laughs> I see now. See it makes yeah. sense. Thank you. Yep. And now this is uh, Azure Arc, correct? This is the thing mm -hmm. that's sort of uh, right. sending out lines to the edge and helping the company manage. I, I think that there was a demo um, showing how you could easily go into this <laughs> this portal and see the yeah. different devices that were in yep. different uh, cities and states. And I I thought it looked a little goofy in terms of the actual UI, but the tools that were available there are, I I would imagine, incredible and helpful for, for IT uh, pros who don't want to have to take a plane to get to the things that they need to manage. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So the idea of Azure Arc, it's it's Microsoft's hybrid strategy in version 2.0, right? So for them, they've had Azure Stack, you know, that's their on-premises version of Azure that people can run in their own data centers. Then they have at regular Azure, which is the public cloud. Their idea is, what if we gave you a portal in Azure and you could use it to manage all of your devices, even if they're not on our cloud. Like say you've got something running in AWS, you could see it through that portal and basically apply all of the uh, rules that Microsoft has, their security, their compliance, um, the management tools to all these things wherever they are, even if they're not in in Microsoft devices or on their servers. Wow. That's it. That's that's kind of a big yep. deal. <laughs> it is. Yeah, that's, is. that's pretty it, incredible. They, it was hard to understand because what they also did here at the show was they rebranded a bunch of the Azure stuff, and that got kind of thrown in with Arc, right? So Azure Stack is now called Azure Stack Hub instead of Azure Stack. Oh, yeah, Azure that Stack. another word on it, yeah. Yeah, Azure yeah. Stack Data Box Edge, which is a uh, an appliance you can use. I'm so sorry. Was that a real thing that you just said? Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, I thought you were doing like a joke about it. You've got no, Azure yeah. Stack. No, I'm not even and... making this up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a data transfer appliance, uh, which also has some compute power on the appliance. So instead of calling that Azure Stack Data Box Edge, they now call that Azure Stack Edge. Oh. Which is a simpler name. Yeah, Somewhat it simpler is simpler. Name. That's good. Yeah, and then there's also this thing called Azure HCI, hyperconverged infrastructure, which is taking, I know, oh, I'm boy. not even making this up. <laughs> this is taking um, your on-premises products and hooking them up to Azure and making use of Azure that way. Okay. You can almost do a skit here where she's describing all these different Azure products and the like in between them is the sound of like someone fast forwarding as like zzz, Azure high end, zzz, Azure, zzz, 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 you know, it, it, it's it's amazing. I mean, how many brands they have? Yeah, I know. But I know. for the folks and who I don't need know, this did stuff, you they watch our, go ahead. I was gonna say, did you watch our post keynote coverage at all? Like yes. When we did our little okay, so then I actually called. Azure HCI, a gateway drug, which I heard a lot about from Microsoft afterwards. They're oh, like, Mary, really? you called it a gateway drug. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that is what I called it. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I had to see, I wanted to see that you both held to your, uh, not promise, but you held to your plans about using the machines that you said you were going to use. So yes. uh, yeah. we, yeah. we streamed that and I got to see the, the sand. We, I mean, and, that happened approximately 42 minutes later than it was supposed to. Right. Did. Uh, we didn't get yeah. as much time as we were supposed to have, et cetera. You know, the day just kind of careened out of control there, but. Yeah. Well, uh, when you spend it, five to fifteen minute, minutes on stickers, 
That can yeah. happen. Yep. <laughs> what yeah. was, uh, what was, ha- I want to understand that, right? that from, okay, so for, if you didn't get a chance to watch the, the <laughs> keynote folks, uh, <laughs> basically before the keynote was starting, they were talking to different people uh, who were yeah. there at Ignite, but they had a little, some interviews from the show floor and yep. uh, they went over and they had this interview about different stickers that were available. And at first <laughs> I was Okay, I thought, okay, yeah, fun, stickers, so that's so, cute. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but we, we know that guy very well. He's mm-hmm. a good friend of ours. And um, <laughs> we were sitting in our little terrarium thing watching this occur, and I was like, you, you could just see the, the credibility leave this guy's oh. body and float into space. I, I felt bad for him because it was clear that he was trying to come up with new questions Of to course, ask. it's not his fault, but he had a full five yeah. minutes. So he literally said at one point, he asked the woman, he said, um, so I, I know you have a lot of stickers here, but do you do anything other than stickers? And she said, <laughs> Yeah, we also have some candy, but really the focus is on the stickers. <laughs> I saw there were. You just kind of saw him. He just got white and kind of. You could just see him like staring off into space, like thinking, "What happened to my career?" I know. You know. I know. Those star bright min- mints. Well, Kyle and- is such such a nice guy, uh, and you know he brought he he, like he did. In, he really uh, was trying, well. which I appreciated uh, to to have a conversation, and it was. Like I said, I no, like the idea that there's a little <laughs> bit of a of a personal eye or, or like people kind of touch to it. But what I found yeah. fascinating is after the keynote wrapped and then we switched to uh, to you find folks talking about the keynote post keynote. The yep. two people you were talking to, their computers were covered in stickers and then yeah. yours yep. were pristine and untouched yeah, by yeah. stickers. Uh, so I can't they, put a sticker on this beautiful sandstone right? thing, can I? No. Yeah. And Elvis can't have no. stickers on him either. It's too perfect. I did. I did eventually put a um, a new Chrome logo sticker on mine. This one? This little Chrome uh, logo? Oh, no, right. I need one of those. That's Credge. Yeah. That's Credge. <laughs> uh, I said, as I, I said, I'm Credging it up. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. 